If you caught my last two videos, I shared a brief clip of Salton Sea and Slab City. Right now we're van camping at Pilot. Why didn't you want to sleep at Slab City? Uh, that place looks scary. It doesn't look like a place I'd want to be uh, hanging around. Even the first place doesn't look like some place I would even go to, but we went to go check it out because we heard about it. We've heard a lot of, you know, we've seen stuff about it on TV. Which one? Salt and Sea? Slab okay. City. Oh, Slab City, okay. Yeah, I sell that on Vice. Oh, okay, so okay. You mentioned it to me too once. Oh, Slab City, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But that's, that's why we didn't want to stay there, right? I mean, it's creepy. It looks, uh, that's why I didn't want to stay there. It looks creepy. It looks like, um, like somebody might mug you or kidnap you or something. Yeah, she was, um, there we passed a spot with a bunch of creepy dolls and she wanted to take pictures of them. And I was kind of like pushing her along because I didn't want to stay there like when it got dark. And then, uh, you know, she got really into it and then she went up to me and said, someone's coming, let's go. So I go around my van and a guy's like leaning on the fence. You know, he didn't look threatening or anything. So I started talking to him. I said, hey, Matt, what's up? And he said, uh, Xavier University? I said, yeah, X-Men. Because I'm wearing a Xavier University School of Gifted Mutants shirt. And he said, oh, X-Men, that's cool. So I said, yeah, man, how are things out here, man? I'm just visiting it. I've heard a lot about this place. I've seen it on Vice. I think Vice is when it first got really popular. And then a lot of people visit Slab City, make videos about it. I wanted to check it out myself. And he said, oh, it, it's cool here. Uh, it's like any anywhere else, you know. Um, some spots are bad. Some spots are good here. Some people are good. Some people are bad. And I said, uh, yeah, you know, the thing I always hear about this place is you claim your you claim your plot of land and your property is your property. Respect other people's property and things are going to be okay. No one's going to bother you. And, you know, he was saying, like, yeah, this place is cool, but, you know, sometimes there's, uh, you know, sometimes bad things happen. You know, I said, you know, like everything else in the world. So we chatted a little bit and, uh, you know, I pointed out his cat. I said, hey, is that your cat? And he said, oh, yeah, you know, I... I uh, feed a couple of them and I got a couple of them fixed and I said right on man hey you know like I'm exploring this place right now and uh, I might come back you know most likely I'll come back you know there's cool off-roading spots near this area and you know if I'm back which I probably will be I'll, uh, I'll bring you some cat food and you know I mean that a million percent because I have a soft spot for people who are kind of cats and dogs and I don't know this guy personally I don't like to be too trusting you know and I think he's a cool guy for being nice to cats, but I still don't trust him. And that's the thing with Slab City. You know, it's a, it is kind of a, it is kind of a creepy place. Kind of different, very different. I did not expect it to be that big. No, not at all. There's a lot more to see than I, than I thought there would be. Actually. Yeah. It's a lot bigger than the uh, show, TV. Okay, they're not parking here. <laughs> they see me filming. Oh. Okay. okay. Yeah, no, um, when I saw it, I thought it would just be like, like uh, a block, like this parking lot. Yeah, I thought it was only gonna be like one little block. Yeah, I thought it would uh, be like a big block and that's it. Like uh, like the parking lot across the street. It's like its own little village. Yeah, no, it's a town. I did not expect it to be a town. The scope of how big it was surprised me. But uh, the reason why I wouldn't sleep there, see, I wouldn't sleep there if she doesn't want to because, you know. I don't feel safe. She don't feel safe. Oh. But even for me, if I was by myself, I wouldn't sleep there for this, you know, for this reason. It's not because of, you know, the way the place looks. It's just that, okay, the place is all about no rules. This place has no rules, and it's all about etiquette. But here's the thing. I don't trust people. Yeah, that's that's all cute and everything. That's very noble to have a town where everyone takes care of each other and you respect each other's property. But at the end of the day, I don't trust people. You know, like I said, the guy I, I chit-chatted with seemed like a nice guy. Because, you know, like I said, I have a soft spot for people who feeds cats, but is he truly a nice person, right? That's yeah. what, yeah, it's just that. The honor system, it's great, but society is not honorable a lot of times. And Most of the time it's not. Exactly. And again, like that place is kind of creepy. It, it, made me, it gave me that feel of the hills of ice. Yeah, it's, uh, we went there and there's like endless amounts of RVs and vans and you know there's people in there but you don't see many people popping out no. 
it finally yeah. feels like they're watching you. You know they're watching you. <laughs> yeah, right? You know the locals are in there. You know they hear us outside. You know they're watching us. Yeah, filming and, like, just checking the place out and being like, whoa, look at this place. And I'm sure they come out when it gets dark. <laughs> yeah, right? They all come out when it's dark. But, uh, yeah, uh, I even saw a few comments already. I just uploaded my videos, you know, like an hour or two ago, and uh, a few comments were already saying, uh, neat place but I wouldn't sleep there you know I wouldn't hang out there too long you know so well, I'll tell you what I, I definitely would not go there b alone by myself during the daytime yeah without me yeah you wouldn't no do I would not yeah. gone without you I would not go, definitely would not go by myself yeah no nah, definitely like I feel safe because I carry the proper equipment with me but um salt and sea real quick um comment about salt and sea it did not look as apocalyptic as I thought it would. It's actually very nice. Like we went to the Bombay Beach side, and yeah, it looked it's all run down, it's dilapidated, but I like the other side. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> the, the where the where we ate at. Yeah. That place was new. The people were nice there actually. Yeah, so. I like that place a lot. I was this whole I I geeked out on that trip, and we're sleeping in Palm Springs right now. And I might go back tomorrow. It depends what time we wake up tomorrow and how I'm feeling tomorrow. But we might go back tomorrow because I want to check it out one more time. I was like, some of these spots are really nice. I was surprised, actually, uh, the, on our way into Salt and Sea in the very beginning of the entrance there. Um, there it was a decent neighborhood. I thought I'll, yeah. we were still expecting to see really bad stuff, but we didn't see as much. Um, now, Bombay Bay or Bombay Beach. Yeah. On the other hand, that seems more like the Burning Man crowd. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, for sure. People. Artsy, yes. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's a... Uh, if I was one of those big-time YouTubers with a million subscribers and I was living off of YouTube, I would live there. True, honest to God, I would live at Salt and Sea, out in the middle of nowhere. I, I like... Um, you just want to get into the sea, huh? No, I would not jump into the <laughs> ocean there. Or the big ocean. But, you know, if I was super wealthy, one of those guys with a million subscribers and I had Ferraris and all that, I'd live out in the Salt and Sea. Like when it's this weather, not when it's 120, but right now it was like 70, 80 today. It was it was nice. The weather was perfect. I would live there during the perfect weather with all my cars, and then I would live somewhere else like during the the summer. But yeah, I definitely enjoyed Salt and Sea. I would definitely go back. I want to go back actually. I liked it a lot too. Oh, you know what my goal is? It's to have a geo tracker to tow behind the van. And we sleep out in the middle of the desert, go off-roading, hang out salt and sea. That's the dream right there. I would love to do that. So a quick look. Oh, which pilot did we go to? Thousand Palms? The first one was Thousand Palms. Uh, <laughs> didn't work out for us. Yeah, okay, so PSA. If you're a van camper, do not sleep at Thousand Palms because there's no parking at all. Right here, you can see some van lifers. And there's plenty of spots, but Thousand Palms, yeah, we had to find this spot right here. Palm Springs, right? Yeah, we're in Palm Springs right now, and this is where we're going to van camp tonight.